The reviews are in and there are no doubts that Reggae Sound Fest 2019 is the kind of success story all promoters are searching for. But not the only story emerging from the week-long reggae fest. Oh God. Six nation beat them, but... The police pulling the plug on closing act six is also a major story from this epic installment of reggae sound fest. When I get my money's worth. No squash. Like everybody come waiting for squash and no squash. Chronic no. laugh play. The six brings their side of the story to our stage. Everybody if you can me, we have got it on it. Elephant Man reclaimed his energy on some first stage. So much so that some are saying the energy god took dance all night. Ellie's response right here on our stage. And Governor is another whose name is being mentioned in the who took dance all night debate. All coming up. Welcome to the show everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. As mentioned, Reggae Sound Fest 2019 was the success story every promoter dreams of. And it started with a bumper crowd no one was expecting. So vehicular and people traffic at the VIP entrance, a sign that this is going to be a very big night for dancehall at Reggae Sunfest 2019. And the traffic is phenomenal right now. And phenomenal is indeed the word to describe that entire evening, a phenomenal crowd. Now take a look, take a look at the entrance to Reggae Sunfest. This we have never seen before. And phenomenal performances among the most talked about. Munga, Spraga Benz, Elephant Man, Spice, Chronix, Coffee, the much touted Beanie Bounty combination, Governor and Dexter Daps. So as we've been saying, this Sunfest is shaping up to be one of the best, one of the biggest. And we're sitting now with the Minister of Tourism who has been doing a fantastic job with the tourism product and he must be credited for some of this minister. I credit you? Or, or, well, or? no, we've been working with Sunfest for a number of years, as you know. And um, in the last few years, particularly since Joe Bagdanovich has um, gotten in, inserted in the management arrangements, we've been looking at with him on how to take Reggae Sunfest to another level. And my God, what a level he has taken it this year. Um, this is certainly the largest and most impressive of all the shows that we've had. And it's perhaps making the point that we have always wanted to make that this is indeed the greatest reggae show on earth. Mm -hmm. um, the, the numbers, point is now made. The numbers are now beginning to um, align itself with that knowledge that this is the greatest reggae show on earth. Um, 8,000 odd visitors have come to the country for this event and they're still coming so perhaps by tomorrow and we do that final count we could get to 10. if we do get to 10 it would be the largest number of visitors to ever come to a single event in jamaica since 1983 yes when we had the world music festival you're too young to remember <laughs> i know when we had of course you remember the grateful dead yes and the 40 plane load of deadheads that came in to, into, Jamaica, into yes. Jamaica. That's the largest group. But Reggae Sumfest is poised to overtake that record. Disappointment, though, came in the morning when it was announced that the much anticipated six wouldn't perform. When I get my money's right. No squash. Like everybody come waiting for squash and no squash. Chronic no. laugh, a player. I'm disappointed, but, but when you stamp your attack, I'm vexed. Credit law, squash, them can load them and them do them work. Yes, I may ask you. One man in me away, no six, I'm upset. What we're looking at at this historic staging of night number one at Reggae Sunfest is a lock off. 
meaning that the police came in and wanted no more of this. People are very angry because what they haven't seen is perhaps the most anticipated artist of the night, and they're the six, and they didn't get to perform. They were going to be next, and that's when the police pulled the plug on. This is the first night of Reggae Sum Fest, but patrons are going away quite peacefully. So we return tonight for the closing night, night number two. So we're going forward now to see if we can find out who is pulling out the crowd. We know it stars Bojo Banton and Barry Thomas. And they're the ones pulling out the crowd tonight. Let's find out from some of these patrons coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bojo, Barry. Definitely Bojo and Protégé. Barry, of course. Bojo. Barry. Barry. Tonight, there. Yeah. Bojo. I came here for Bojo Banton. Barry's Bojo. Barry's Barry's with that. I brought her out. <laughs> and Bojo Banton brought us out. <laughs> Bojo. 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 Barry. Barry's. Tonight, I'm looking forward to see Barry's. Absolutely thrilled to be taking in Bojo tonight. Who brought you to Jamaica? Bojo. Bojo Banton. Well coordinated. Yes, I am. Colored up and all. Ask for Bojo. Hope he noticed me. We want to listen. Bojo, no? Bojo is fantastic, right? Bojo, of course. It's the way a human being, no for we be in the meek, no. All right, so night number two is off and running. Reggae Sun Fest 2019. The much anticipated night number two, starring Barry's Hammond and Bojo Banton. And uh, by the look of things, it is going to live up to the expectations. So far, we have seen Dalton Harris. Kemar Haikon and Janai. Oh, me so clean, so saucy. In a me teas and me jeans, so saucy. Every kick to my beat, so saucy. Call me king in a day, so saucy. Some fest. It's a festival that um, means a lot to me because both young artists and established artists get to perform at one of the biggest reggae festivals. It means a lot to me. The truest resurrection is spiritually and the key to the comfort is to pray the word knowing not just believing for the prophecy revealing with a new name. King Rastafari, weak heart, I tremble. Hey! I have nothing, nothing. Everybody in the party know this one. Take it down. I'm on a fire, pan a weak heart, bubbling on them freaks. I could never. They can't get me from. You know, see when they mark one with the petrol jam. Thousand dollar cake, the boy, they might get fin yam. I wear the woman have where what? 30 million with hungry civilian. The church, they might march against abortion. I tell the woman, them to start move with caution. But me, I tell you, no. Ask for the whole and a whole and the youths are get touched by some grown man in a them church program. Hey, police cancel operation. I don't really I'm grateful, you know, I'm thankful for the blessings that are falling on my table. The energy that the people were give, giving me. I was like literally on stage being like, wow, this is this more base, is some face like I felt really motivated. You don't know the thing going on. I'm, I'm grateful to be here. And if I the biggest song face, it means there are a whole heap of Jamaicans there. And this is the first time I perform in front of so much of my people in one time. So I'm grateful for that. And this is my first song face watching, attending, and also performing. Been to festivals all over the world, but Reggae Sunfest clearly is one of the festivals that probably maybe will stand out in your mind, does it? It always does because I feel like when I'm um, I'm supposed to be able to do what I want to do to present my show to my fans and my people from all over the world, not just Jamaica. Yeah, to the you know you working. Come on, say, say yes, I won't be easy. I wish you would say your up my life. I feel good. I 
when you rock them, dancing to a reggae song. Say, feel good, feel good. Double trouble is waiting. Uh huh. It looks like just the moments away now from the second coming of the Gargamel in Jamaica. Montego Bay this time, Reggae Sun Fest. Reggae Sun Fest 2019. We want to welcome on stage a builder, a mover, a shaker of this music we call reggae. We want to welcome on stage Butcher Banton and the Shiloh Band. back next year. This is my first time at Reggae Sound Fest and I mean, I love it. I can't wait to do it again. Country Could we get your comment on the festival? The festival itself, whoa, um, the lineup was really powerful and the Reggae Sound Fest management have succeeded in pulling in the largest crowd ever I think Reggae Sound Fest has ever had easily. I mean you could barely get from one part of the park to the other park. I mean this is definitely the most packed venue. I thought it was packed yesterday but today is more packed you know as, as I'm say 18,000 for, for yesterday and, and in the 20s this year. I mean for today Saturday but the key thing is the butcher factor. We cannot ignore that. He was a drawing factor, a major draw, and from it was announced that he was going to be on this show after the stadium show, and I was there at the stadium show. We knew this was going to be a big show. In fact, I go as far to say that with this performance, he's, he's stamped, he's reaffirmed his, 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 his dominance, really, of the current reggae scene. And I will go as far as to say that amongst the terrestrial uh, players and singers of instruments that he is the king of reggae. 
in the terrestrial plane. Of course, we know Celestial is Bob Marley. But right now, I'm saying he's the king. I'll go as far as to say that. He's stamped his authority and he's stamped, you know, his dominance. He's shown his wide catalogue. And, you know, it's a deep thinker. And I, I like the country for sale. I like that song. That's something new that's added to the repertoire, you know? Yes. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, man. I want to say maximum respect to Joe and the whole Sunfest crew. I mean, they really pulled it off. The organization, the stage is equal to what I've seen at Coachella, which is the biggest festival in the world in, in California, you know? So that's the whole organization, the lights, the sound, everything. Absolutely incredible. And of course, the artists, you know what I mean? Two generations ago, the voice of a generation was Bob Marley and Peter Tosh. One generation ago, the voice of a generation was Buja Bantan. And this generation, the voice of the generation, as Protégé said tonight, is Chronix. So to basically have Chronix on one night and then Buja Bantan tonight was just absolutely amazing. The two of them crushed it and I mean, some of the best things I've seen. You know, Of course, last night we had the voice of a generation and also the new voice coming up, which was Coffee. And I thought Coffee was incredible. And my favorite new artist in reggae now is Coffee. Just the fire in her eyes when I saw her at um, Rebel Salute this year. And when you look in her eyes, it's just like a superstar's eyes. So that's our coverage, Winford Williams, on behalf of her very, very hard-working crew in Montego Bay, thanking you for joining us and do join us next year, we hope, for another big one at Reggae Subfest. Are you ready? Subfest, are you ready? When you hear me say, driver, Highlights of performances can be found on our YouTube channel. And after the break, what some of the big winners told us that you'll be hearing for the very first time. And later, the six respond to the plug being pulled on their performance at the Reggae Fest. All coming up. What more, yeah, the wall of back road. Anytime a team roll out, yeah, we black road. Girl, take at the phone, take the stop code. Do one a thing and keep it relevant, do Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. And now, what some of the big winners told us backstage after their performance. Who is your strategist? You? Definitely. Or some, or so, you? Definitely. I'm, okay. I'm the creative person behind everything I do. So I would definitely say I'm, I'm, I'm that person. Oh. You're credited for this tremendous brand, Spice. Definitely. I don't have a management team. I don't have a manager. Um, I create my own concept for my music videos. I direct them. Um, thanks to Extreme Arts for executing my ideas and everything. Big up my team Spice dancers, Kevin, Cara. Big up Ray Alexander as well who books the shows for me. I have a good team behind what I'm doing. But I'm definitely the person that comes up with all the creative concept. So let me ask you, how do you deal with the, the, uh, the distractions? In your own life, you know, personal life and otherwise. Personal life, personal you. life. Personal life. You <laughs> Winnie, know. let me be honest with you, to be honest. It's yeah. hard for me to deal with um, distractions, especially when I know who I am and sometimes you go on the internet and you see somebody saying something that is not true or, you know, it kind of affects you because a lot of people don't know that. While some people will comment and say, oh, why is she have to answer? She have to remember that she's a celebrity. I think people need to also remember that I'm human first yes. and so I'm going to have feelings just like anybody else. So it's hard for me to kind of see certain things and my friends would say, don't pay them the mind, you're bigger than that. No, I'm human. So I'm going to feel a type of some, in some type of way. I'm going to want to re respond. I'm going to want to set some people straight, especially when you build a brand and you know what you're about and somebody's trying to tear it apart. You know, I say some things that's not true. So you have to clear it up at all times. So it's hard for me, to be honest. When it comes to distraction, sometimes I get distracted easily. Because if I go up on the internet and I see somebody say something and I don't go so, I just feel like I need to say no and I say go. So I am surrounded now by the Red Square Rebel Nation, Spraga Benz, Santina, Rap Diesel, Cyclone, Tata Spice, Briggy Benz. Absolutely. Most of it. I'm luck, just gone for a tour in a in a in a and everybody was on stage today. just a while ago. Yeah man, that's a whole of joy. Yes. Yeah. And you rated for us yourself, uh, Spraga, the, the performance, the experience. You haven't been here for a while. Yeah. Yes. Me don't want to perform. It's like now. the is it it's a return of Spraga Benz to some fest. Oh, to some fest. I haven't been on it for a while for real. But you know, me don't want to stay out the longer still. Not so much song of me do really want to sing by by request really, but you know, and just the time. I'm gonna get it twice. 
Yeah. So what we've seen is an explosive, some great moments. You're, you're, you're now, and you took, you took people back to the 90s yeah. when you owned Subfest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you bring them yeah. up to date with what's happening right now. Yeah. First, Praga, just give us a, a quick summary of your own personal career now and yeah. the, the big tune and what's going on now. Well, How is as it? We, talk, uh, you know, we differ last time we speak. Yeah. You know, the next single supposed to be Wicked Love. The album is going to be released on the 27th of September. We set the date now. All of the parts have been submitted. So it's going to be released on, with, with Easy Star Records. I think it's going to come out on Sony Archard. Red Square, same way, Border Cuts. And it has 15 tracks, mostly recorded in London, with a lot of different genres of, of the, the, the English music. Because I know from Windrush generation, our people really go over there and bring music over there. My boy, all them things are from small days and come up. So nothing changed really. So now what I do, I just try to get back over there and work back with the artists and over there, incorporate back dance and music and everything for sure. So we think universal and versatile. And you know, henceforth, the chiller gun, a thousand sided object coming at you. <laughs> Sprang of heads, <laughs> Sprang of the beds, man, and the Red Square crew coming at you. Everybody, we got to have it. We have got it. Let it go. We got it. Big man, a big man. A man just tell me a while ago, and he's part of the entourage from Ellie. And uh, Energy God is Energy God because tonight we have seen the fullness of the energy unleashed on this super big reggae sound fest. Elephant man, you've been hiding from us. Tonight we find you. Was it? Is it that you were out planning all of this for us before well, we see you again in Jamaica? And well, it's like have? it's like Winford. You know, um, I think that my some like you know that. One time doing some fest is like straight, year to year, year yeah. to year, and like I didn't do it for three years, right? So I'm like, you know what? Joe Bogdanovich called me at the elephant. We're ready, please. And I said, all right, I'm ready. So, you know, get in the gym, prepare, put the show together. You know, say, when it comes to performance in Jamaica, elephant man, I one of the best. I will bring it for the people, and the people them know that from them to energy, God, it's going to be crazy win for it. So it's like, me just put the proper man to Kuno because remember one time every year I'm here back to back, back to the end. elephant before the show and after. So yeah. I don't do it three years. Kuno come at some fest and make win for no limit and say, Oh my god, what going out there? Energy got so we'd have to bring it and you know, coming back to some fest, Kuno come with the low energy, we'd have to bring it because dance all need this. People need to go to America and go talk about what happened at some fest, performance wise, the artists them and as you can see, I put the, the entry together, me and Scatter them, we put the entry together with the on and you know the people them start get excited from there. So we are show them say dance all is not about just run on and ray and it's about performance. Sure. We're showing you the years of experience doing music and Showing the people and the fans of Jamaica say, and all over the world say, you can trust us and believe in an elephant when it comes to delivering for you guys and your money. Congratulations, sir, big for up. me. Yeah, man, big and, up, big up. And, and you, or do you, what do you say to yourself? Do you um, say part of the show? Yeah, now? definitely, you know what I mean? Because like 7 o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? Yes. Um, Fans them out there was the people that walk out when we go up on the stage and them show them a flood for all the back in and thing. You get to me answer. So it was a great vibe and a great energy because the fans were so receptive. I'm big up Diddy in for come in and say, brother, the, 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 the performance said we and thing. It was a nice fourth gen vibe, you get me? So it was a great vibe. I verified the walk back in because <laughs> I was there and I saw it. You see it, but people walk, yeah. Did you not feel that, like, oh, is it going to happen because yeah. of how late it is running? Nobody expected it to be so late. Yeah, it ran away, you know what I mean? Um, I guess the band, the band, the band changed it kind of. You know, you know, naturally band change, you can't really hear bands and think, you know, it's production and things, so you take time to set up and think, you know, a couple bands was there, so probably that was the problem, why, right? you know what I mean, because normally reggae sound festival is on point and thing, you know what I mean, never this late, so, but I think we'd have definitely say, 
that was really, really and truly the problem and I mean so hopefully next year them can fix it and forward with the car. We get some fest. It's a great vibe and that's the only festival around where I try to keep it alive and the great energy is it. Alright, still to come right here on stage. One man in me away, no six. We disappointed bad but the six tells their side of the Plug pulling story at Reggae Sunfest. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. The Six's closing task at Reggae Sunfest was one of the most anticipated of the festival. And as most people now know, it did not happen due to police pulling the plug just before the six got on stage. I took on the, cup of coffee. the six's boss is here to give the six's side of the story. <laughs> well, go on, Squash. Welcome, yeah, sir. Fully. Okay, so, so what is your understanding of what happened? We the hotel, my artist, them get ready. Reach on to the to the venue. I reach there about 2.30 or so. We get information. Say the the, the show three hours late. We did a, and did I go and wait same way. We see the artists that go and perform, we see them go and do them thing. Labas did for go before me. An artist sit up on the stage before Labas. So Labas time get near now. So we decided that we are gonna draw nearer to the to the stage. We start drift from the tent now, almost reach to the stage. My ear say the event is gonna shut down. Oh. By the police. Okay, so that so you were all set and ready. Set and ready. To well go prepared. on stage and, and you were actually moving towards to take position by the side of stage. Yeah. When you heard that the show is going to be shut down. Mm -hmm. That's when you knew. What was the explanation given to you at that point? Say, so, um, the time did over, it should have locked off for early on. Mm -hmm. And artists stood up on the stage. Of course, by the way, the name thing there. You know what I mean? But it's not one artist, you know. More than one. See? But. The rest of the artists who come to them, by the way, they still perform. Mm -hmm. See? So, I want to know why. So, the we... artist in question who cuss bad word mm -hmm. is Javelani, right? Well, isn't, the, isn't, that, isn't the he who there, most people are saying, he was using some indecent language on mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. And he was right before your performance. Not so, my performance. Before six. Before six. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is it then that. And you're saying that people, other people before even him use indecent language. Yeah. And they were allowed to perform. And they were allowed to perform. You're saying the use of I indecent am. language was one of the reasons why they decided. That them say. But one, the show run too late. Two, indecent language on the stage. Yeah. Before your performance. Yeah. Okay. Well, as everybody can see now in food. Uh, well, them use that as an excuse to me, you know. Yes. Me never get to perform, and my fans them, and my loved ones them never get to see the artist perform. Well, I go to Sunfest to perform, and to show the love to my fans, that never happen. Mm -hmm. All of my fans and people from all over the states, UK, all over this world come to Jamaica to see Six Bass and the World 16 perform. Mm -hmm. That don't look good. No, it's it's a it's not a good look, and we heard from the man patrons man, going on. Well, 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 in the yeah. morning after the show lock off, the amount of people me say shed their water, went for mm -hmm. People are saying they want about their money. Well, you know what I think, sir. Yes. I think so. The promoter himself need to organize him thing better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can't have a headliner for the show, and then the headliner don't perform. Look how Sunfest full up. A few much years, I never watch Sunfest. I never see Sunfest full up, so it's People come out for six. 
So you say, you think it, six is the biggest reason why so many people are there? Of course. On that Definitely. night? Definitely. Definitely. That particular night or the two nights? Well, when I go say, the rest of the night, they never have people. Yes. But that night, when we did for perform, Friday night, mm -hmm. the place would ram up. And everybody fought out for six. Well, not everyone. Because, you know, and everybody I go, and everybody I go like we, and everybody, and we, we are not everybody artists. Okay. And the whole mobile, you know, I want to tell the whole mobile, yeah. sorry about what happened, mm -hmm. turn the mic control, out of my control, the law, they do them thing, so, you don't know. And you would extend that to the fans too, those who, especially mm -hmm. those who travel from far to mm -hmm. come to see you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So is there any redress that you're looking for from the promoter? Have you gotten a, a, an apology or anything from the promoter? What, have, you, have they contacted you? Have you contacted them? Since? Well, I'm going to tell you now, Mr. Winford. I'm going to look no apology from the promoter nor nobody. They don't do what they do already and it can't fix it because it's gone already. Yes. So I'm going to give you the present you now. I'm going to focus on the music, I'm going to focus on the artists them. But I want to out the road. Okay. So I'm not time for the past. So I'm do the present. So would you take, would you accept an invitation to come back to Southwest next year? Or any time in the future? I think about it. You think about it? I'll think give about it some thoughts. Yeah, man. Okay. There are rumors about fight, infighting going on in six. Is, uh, true or false? No fight not going on in a six, you know. Six are just six. Mm -hmm. And the rest of them are ticks. <coughs> okay. So there are some people who s claim to be six who are, who are ticks. Ticks. You're them. suggesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. No fight not going to six. But there family. were six and no longer six. <laughs> and now ticks. <laughs> Long time they're my ticks with for the year. But what? Don't just show up now? <laughs> well, you know, we hear things, but me now I'm calling him or take rumors and, and blow it up. So I'm not really too a call on him. But me hear about Javelani. Wasn't he part of it? And they say that they're... All right. Yeah. You are going to know in foot. A lot of, lot, lot of artists in the six camp. They got my dog, Big Vice, upcoming up artists, Bobby Six. When she the goddess, you don't know Labas, you don't know Daddy Wild, me, myself, and you're... Enough more of them, did they? But mm. it just liquor by liquor, they man fouled out. Okay. Yeah, man. So, I don't know how that is. Artists where I talk about Mr. Winford. So, call the names again, make people hear. Because the six is real, is part of what you're now saying. The six is real, and that's mm. something that you're saying right now. So, call some names of artists who are part of six in this present moment. As I say, Labas, Daddy One, Bobby Six, Big Vice, Mad Dog, Del Piro Six, Quen the Goddess, first female artist. Same. For the camp. But there is an artist there on the same way. Take time and put foot. You understand? So, okay. Liquor by liquor. So any other name, you know business with them. Them are not six. Winford. Yeah. Let yeah, me just say. Dicks. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Smart. Them are not six. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So some members are here with us, right? Mm-hmm. The members of the six are in the house, so can we meet them? We're gonna meet them. Well, definitely. We're enough. gonna take yeah. a little break and meet some of the some of the members, not all of them. How many are here? Three of them there right now. Me and myself make four. Okay. So we're bring four. Three of them now. Bobby six there are same there, but we're bring four. Three of them right now. Okay. Mm. So we're gonna have three of the six on our stage after a short break. <laughs> Them no know the style and them no know the text. No, no, them no swag, them no know the jig. What takes one Bob Squid Red and Patrick? Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. All right, so we're back now with the squash, the boss, the six boss, and we're joined. He's joined by three sixes. And I think you know two of them already. But this lady, I don't think you know her yet. So, six, 
Boss, take it away, sir. And tell us, introduce for us the names and start with the lady. Yeah, man. Go and share this, the goddess. Yes. Don't know that one. Don't know the boss, the boss himself, see me. So, welcome. Thank you for having me. You're the first lady of the six? Yes, indeed. The first lady of the six. Okay. So, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? And, and how did you get to be part of it? Well, it's a great feeling to be a part of the six, as the first female of the six. And it's a great experience. I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we would have seen you at some fest? Yes, you would have. And you would have been introduced there, right? Yes. I and would you have would have been, been a surprise? Yes, I would have been a surprise. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you were well rehearsed and everything and, and it didn't happen? Most definitely. How disappointed were you? Well, I was very disappointed indeed. Because, you know, we, we, we have been rehearsing and, and, and all those things. So mm -hmm. um, to go there to the venue and, you know, being preparing days upon days, weeks upon weeks, it's, it's very disappointing. All right. So what can you tell us about your music? Um, when you hear about Quenchir, you hear about the first thing comes to mind is flavor. So um, I do a mixture of everything. I sing and I DJ. So I'm a sing J. Um, I try to do something different. Um, so I just bring a different flavor to dance all. Do you have your own solo records? Yes, I do. Out? Yes, I have songs out. Okay, so tell us about them. How are they doing and um, tell us some titles so that people can look them up. They're doing pretty well. Um, I did a song titled Living Large and that was produced by Atto Enton. And I'm, I'm getting a lot of um, good response for that song. Mm -hmm. You know, people are loving it. People are giving me good compliments. They're saying that, okay, you know, you're doing your thing, continue doing your thing. So it's a great feeling. So daddy, your role in the group and where are you, or you feel about things and how disappointed were you when, you did, when some fest didn't happen for you guys? Well, I'm mean, disappointed, you know, because I want to show the people them so the six real. Yes. Yeah, no joke about that. So, we I'm not perform, my brother I'm not perform, let me feel away, you know? Yeah. No joke about it. Okay, but I mean, so that can't stop, you know, we still have everything and yeah. we're still relevant at all times. It's trending every day. <laughs> trending. <laughs> yeah, man, trending. And the six is real. Real. It's, it's, it's now a tagline. Six is real. Mm -hmm. At all times. Well, if one man in the group is real, apart from you, boss, see that? <laughs> Where's the <laughs> love, boss? Yeah, man, you know. All things. Why the whole world that look for you, you know? Yeah. I mean, they were looking... <laughs> to sing along some of your big monster, monster hits, and it didn't happen with Jig. So your take on, on all of that? They are firm the same way, you know? But where you woman say no man, I feel that way still, you see me, because go to rehearsal and do some crazy jumping when I'm in a normal day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they must say, you know? <laughs> so them say big youth can work his stage too. Yeah. And do some damage. And they're not happy, but they don't stop me still, you see me? So your stagecraft for some fest was well prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Different something, man. See? Yeah, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. Why you just make the people feel like a way more, more right now? Everything, you think, man. And I like saying I run up and down from left to right and then jump and say two lines. I speak See? like a gig. Militant something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I pin like a gig of this. You hear that? Yeah. And then that, and that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> and then that, they are mimic. You know what yeah, I mean? And then they say your thing, they're ready. Real performance, man. Yeah. See? Youngsters, let's face it, they don't know performance is a problem with youngsters. So when mm -hmm. we hear um, Laba I say this. This is important because it shows that you know, you know pay attention to the weakness of among course. youngsters in the music. Yeah, man. And, and, and you guys are addressing it. And that's good to know that you were considering making a, a, a statement with performance. A crazy, crazy thing when you go on in the morning, them, so them know that. Yes. And that's why them lack off your shoulder. But big up all the peace officers, them same way. You don't know. Mm -hmm. They do them job. They don't know the thing go. And we are the full job. Against the no, officers. man, what I do that for? No, they do for them work. And we are the full work. I don't hate them. Mm -hmm. I don't hate them. I don't give them the no trouble. So I just go and do music. And music, I do. And just some fest will still be there, me. by the way. Some fest will still be there. Montego Bay, your base, mm. will still be there waiting to see the six. And this, it, it's about the future. It's about transcending this. Well, Mobino. It's a Mobino win for 
Mobile go just always stay in Mobile. Big up the whole of people, them, the whole of the clean hearted people them for Mobile. And big up the really set of ones, them. but if you tell you the truth, Mobile go just stay in Mobile, I go just stay far from Mobile. I don't have nothing to do with Mobile. Yes. You understand? Yeah. And enough people know the reason why. Because what? I don't no, 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 want to entangle with no police and them things there. You understand? We just need to forget, we just want to live a free life. I'm going to say it already, I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. We want to live a free life like everybody else. See? We are the music, and I want the JDF and the JCF to know we're not going to trouble. And music we are, we are focused on music. So, I ask the JDF and the bigger man them to please. Have some mercy upon the youth them. We want to make it for them family and give we a break. Give me a break. Squash six boss and Jay with the car. A break. Yeah, because I'm not getting a trouble. And the same thing for the boss too. And the same thing for daddy one. And the same thing for the whole of the youth them. I got through struggles like we with the with the police them and them thing the same way. Yeah. Because I feel target. Feel target. Feel targeted yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I go down a sun face now, Winford. And get them a big disappointment there. Remember saying, you know, well, I last year, you know, the year before, you know, I lock up in a custody the whole time for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. And now, me, there's some face I wait and say, all right, six bars, I go up on the stage and go do him thing, you know, because we've been a rehearse and the do thing and do we craft them, well prepared and plan. And no, no, we're disappointed. Yeah, so I just want everybody to know, say, we're out here, see me, we do the right thing. And I look out for some album drop anytime soon. Granite now. Nah. Yeah. Six bars. I don't know daddy one and for the team same way. So though you are six, you're not a group. You are individual artists in your own rights, right? Of course. Every one of them solo. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you have an album coming, you say? Mm hmm And Law, and Law Chronic Boss. Law coming up with, with an album. Mm -hmm. Where have you been so far since the, the Big Boss? Since you were released and, and free up? The America. Go Trinidad. I have only a tour right now. Yes. Um, we have Trinidad, Guyana, Kia Girl, and we have. What, what we call Guyana already? Guyana. Mm -hmm. We have shows in America. Ghana. Yeah. Wow. Canada, mm -hmm. England, Antigua, NASA, and them. Good receptions. Of course. Everywhere? Yeah. 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 Same. Booked and already. So, um, that again, you? Where have you been? And, and what? You don't have an album coming out, do you? Yeah, yeah. You have an album too? I want to have a crazy thing come on. Yeah? So you're a couple of mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. And Law, yeah. the big man Law, what's coming on your album? Will that define you? Who want to know you, will know you through that album now? Who want to know you're supposed to know me, I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They want to know your soul, for big, big man. They want to know. Always I release my soul. Yeah. I know my style already. Yes. My album different, man. Different, different, different. You're not going to hear no violence. You see me? Same. You're not going to see bad part of Chronic Club on your album. You see me? Mm -hmm. them type it's of music. Album. Inside. It's music. Inside style. Inside. Instant yeah. classic. And this. Let me tell the people, let me know. Say, this youth already has a classic yeah, in Jamaica's music. Yeah, Chronic Law, Hillside, go listen to it. It's a classic, instant classic, already him. This youth can speak to the entire world, Reggie. When we listen to your lyrics, you can talk to the world. The yeah, whole man. world can listen to no, you. No about it. Same time. So, your appeal to the police and to the law enforcement mm -hmm. and to to all Jamaica, to give you, you all of your chance, you, you've got talent. No yeah, two man. ways about it. Yeah. Anyway, all I'm going to do is to as continue to stay away from going to have it, to have what everybody's searching for, use it well. Um, anything you want to add, my dear? I just want to say, um, just look out for Quenched Music because I have a lot of songs coming out. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of songs. Some of them produced by Six Is Real Records and I have them to drop very soon. So Jamaica should look out for me. And you're based where? I'm from Montego Bay. Oh, you're from Montego Bay? Montego Bay, yeah. Okay. And Squash, your last words, sir? Yeah, man. Big up the two fans, man. And the, and, the, and the whole Jamaica and the whole world. Peace, love, art, love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Music is always love. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just want to tell my fans to look out for the new music where they are come, custom. 
custom music video come soon so record feet and record for anthem video mm -hmm. all of my fans are big up on yourself you know i think go six really like every time oh before we go um fully loaded squash mm -hmm. Fully loaded is is your advertised to appear there. It, could we possibly see some of what we didn't get at some fest that fully loaded? You know, Trias. Well, most definitely, you know. Yeah, but things are going sort out mm -hmm. with the laws and and everything, with them permit and whatever, whatever. So we just there go wait for so I go there. Okay. Yeah, man. So, but for now. The, the focus is yeah, on man. fully loaded. Yeah, man. Because that will truly be loaded, you know. That, that weekend will be loaded, S, SPF weekend, including fully loaded. So, yeah, it's happening at Grizzlies Plantation Cove. And that's near to Ocherius, okay? Yeah, near to Ocherius. All right. And that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. <laughs>